What's up everybody? Brandon with Premier Guitar here again. Uh, today we're looking at a really cool pedal. Um, it's the Mantic Flex. This is not a new pedal. They've been making these for about five years, but this is a really cool special edition that Third Man Records is now a part of. Um, before I go any further, playing my Tele into the Mantic and later I might throw on a delay. So this is a Canyon here from EHX. And we're going to a 64 Blackface Champ uh, mic'd up with a Sennheiser 421. Going straight into the uh, camera. Uh, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, so what this thing is, is uh, basically it's inspired by the old Schumann PLL, uh, which stands, the PLL stands for Phased Locked Loop. Phased Locked Loop. It's kind of hard to say. Um, a lot of synth guys are really into that stuff. There's actually more PLL clone type things coming out now. Um, Mantic was kind of early to the game on this. Um, but rather than doing a strict clone of a PLL, if you've seen a PLL, it's full of knobs, it's full of switches. It looks like incredibly difficult to use. They've minimized it into here and they've added a lot of their own characteristics to make it stand apart from a PLL and uh, pay homage to it. Uh, but not exactly, uh, you know, a straight up clone. So, that being said, it's really fun, really simple to use. I don't fully understand what the money and the and switch do, but it has something to do with artifacts and the elements of the locked loop. Um, uh, but we just flip switches and it just goes crazy. So let's, let's just get into that. Um, level here is our overall volume. Uh, focus is basically the amount of time it takes for the pedal to attempt to calibrate and time itself with the incoming signal. Uh, it's really strange but fun. And then pump does the same thing as focus but in a different way. So to simplify that, I, what I've found with this thing is that when focus is all the way up, it listens to your playing a little more and doesn't start glitching out right away. And the more pump is up, is up uh, it'll do longer, more dramatic, I, I like to call it uh, emergency uh, ambulance siren sounds. Uh, and then when it's down, it does less of that and, and a shorter time period. So that might be confusing. I'll turn some knobs and let you see what I'm talking about. Let's turn focus all the way up and pump all the way down to get the more standard fuzz tone that we might want to hear right out of the gate. It's kind of what that sounds like. Um, let me do the same thing and I'll flip both of those switches one at a time so you can see what they do. And this thing can track chords but it really likes single note lines. So I'm going to just start with like a random single note thing. See, when I start playing chords, even with the focus all the way up, it just splatter crazy. But in a good way, you know, depending on the context. Big bar chord. With the switches up, it almost glitches out more uh, and doesn't give you as much as that high end content and kind of blankets it a little bit, if that makes sense. Let me turn the switches back down see what happens. I'm going to turn the pump up and the focus all the way down so you can hear kind of the, how extreme this thing can get. There's that ambulance I was talking about. Switches are up. It's going to react a little different. No matter what I play, it's gonna give me that note because the focus is not listening to me at all. It's almost changing pitch 
depending on how intense I'm pressing down on the string. I'm going to pull the, po the focus, 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 up a little bit and leave the pump like at 75%. Put the switches down and uh, try to actually play a guitar line now. <laughs> I think if I want to play a guitar line, I'm going to turn the focus up and the pump down. Now let's see. That is normal, it's cutting in and out like that. When the switches are up, it seems to do that more. Um, there's like, maybe like little micro dead spots with the knobs when those switches are up. Uh, just a strange thing you gotta get around. Um, I'm gonna pull the switches back down and I'm gonna do something fun again with some sirens, uh, but maybe not as extreme. Uh, and I'm gonna throw a delay on to show you kind of an application where you could use this in a, you know, a big washy sound in one of your songs. Clean sound. With delay, it's pretty wild. Um, I'm going to plug a humbucker in real quick for you guys. See if that makes any difference at all on how this thing plays. And I think the genesis of this collaboration was from uh, Jack White using it on a mm -hmm. record, solo record from 2014, so. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, a lot of the solos that he's doing, he's a much better player than I am, obviously. So he's able to rip up a, a fretboard a little bit, but uh, he could put this thing to use in a very creative way, and everyone I've seen with these on their board kind of use them differently, and that's kind of cool. Like uh, Nick Reinhardt's another big user of this thing, uh, and his band Terra Malos, they they're a, they're a perfect candidate for this kind of thing for sure. Uh, humbuckers are on, and uh, let's see what that does. I could hear Nine Inch Nails or something using this too, like whenever I just hit one note and bend it, that's like my favorite thing to do with it because it just kind of screams at you. I'm going to try that one more time and just fiddle around and then uh, that about covers this thing, honestly. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to throw in some more delay because that's my favorite thing to pair with this, um, especially a detune delay. It's a good trick to try at home if you end up picking one of these things up.
All right, well, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I could do this all day, but I'm not gonna put you through that. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is the Mantic Flex uh, in conjunction with Third Man Records, two awesome companies doing some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, continue to reach out to us here at PG. More videos coming your way, you know the drill. Uh, tune in next time, guys. Peace.